right. And I think I have a new obsession here, and it's with these figs. Last December, we went online to figbid.com, ordered a whole bunch of cuttings of a wide variety of figs, and tried our first time trying to propagate fig cuttings. We had a whole bunch of success as far as I am concerned. I think we ended up having about 90% of our fig cuttings propagate. Let me take you along on where we got them, how we propagated them, then how we up-potted them once we finally had some good propagation and where things stand today. This is our first year trying figs from cuttings and trying to see what would happen for us here. We've had some pretty good success. I think all but two of them we were able to get to root here. Um, all of these were cuttings I picked up on figbid.com. We got a few different varieties here. Violet Day Bardot, a bunch of LSU brands, um, White Madeira. Uh, what is some other ones we got here? We got Canadria. It's been almost two and a half months now that we've had these in this container that we've also kept this on a heat mat under our grow lights the entire time. Um, the heat mat we would have set somewhere around 78 degrees, I believe it was. And not all of them are ready to up pot, but as you can see here, we got some good roots going on some of these and some of them are coming out the bottom here. So we're gonna get some of these today into some three gallon pots. Another thing though this year is that we did have a couple of brown turkey fig cuttings that I had from our tree that we've had for the last few years. And while some of them took, they were not as successful as when we were doing this method here of keeping it all surrounded in this triple shredded wood mulch. So moving forward for us, I'm sure I will end up doing more cuttings because this kind of gets a little bit addictive, but um, I'm gonna go with just this method of using the plastic storage container, loading it up with the mulch, and then just popping these pots in here and I kind of like using the clear pots. I'm still a rookie at this, so I like to kind of see what's happening and how the roots are doing. Maybe someday I'll move up to the taller black pots, but for now we're just gonna go with those. Uh, let's get these in some three gallon containers.
want to give you guys a quick update on Keith's figs. They are really doing great. This is an LSU Tiger, another LSU Tiger, here's an LSU Gold, another LSU Gold, LSU Scott Black, another LSU Scott Black, this one, another LSU Scott Black, a white Madeira, another white Madeira, a third white Madeira. This is a, I believe, Cadota. Violet de Bordeaux, another Violet de Bordeaux, a third Violet de Bordeaux, Canandria, another Canandria, third Canandria. Fourth Canandria. This is the brown turkey fig that Keith was talking about earlier that we up potted in a little different method. We didn't put the mulch around it, but that one seems to be doing just fine. And another brown turkey fig. These were our, uh, oh no, this one is um, uh, Phil's Select from one of our local nurseries here in central North Carolina. And then those are the two brown turkey figs that we had from last year where these two have done the cuttings. These figs have all been doing really well. I'm really excited about all of these figs. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you got any questions or suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below, and we'll see you on the next video. Right, Daisy? <laughs>